Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snoop. And today I'm going to show you what a crash report looks like and some things that Android developers can do on a back end and things you can help out the Android developers to give you the best experience as possible. Now, on my most recent app, I made it where on my phone itself, it created a crash report and um you know it's just a quick easy thing to do just so we can take a look at it but basically when you got a crash report and the person submits it you will get the basic information as far as date time yada yada the actual information of what happened this may or may not be a thing that can pinpoint the actual problem and then we can go further with Okay, did the person just, um, you know, do a message and that will help us out further. Notice that it doesn't say the person's email at all, like at all. So there's no way to contact the user about a crash report. And that's one thing I find that's quite interesting, even though this is the first crash report I've ever gotten and I actually had to send it to myself just to see what it looks like the um, just notice that there's no way for the developer to contact the user that experienced this so there's no way they can say okay now let's see if this works or that works and so on and most developers, especially any developers, will actually give you free crap if you help them out because they don't have anyone to help them out. So one of the things that developers can do is either try to fix a problem, figure it out or whatever, or if a update caused the problem, they can actually revert back to a previous version and go from there. It's a pretty simple one to process there. Now, as far as that goes, um, in case if you want to help out a developer pass the, oh, here's the crash report, what you can do is just email the developer. Most parts, they will actually have their email address on the bottom, or some of them will even attach it to the application itself. A lot won't, but some will, like myself. But what you'll have is on all of their their uploads to the Google Play Store. It's supposed to have their email address there, and that way you can just go there, grab it, and uh, email them, tell them what's going on and, and everything else. And that way it helps out the developer to make a working stable product and figure out what's going on because sometimes it's actually the users in on something going on. Like maybe they got a bug phone or maybe they rooted their phone and done some weird crap to it or whatever but anyways as far as that goes hopefully gives this gives you an insight on the back end of stuff and it helps out oh uh one thing i want to mention before i forget is we don't gain notifications apparently for this and that's pretty important to note that we don't get any notifications at all about this about a crash coming in we have to actually go to the applications themselves and many developers like myself won't go to your um, go, go to the actual application unless we're updating something or google flat out tells us to or whatever so that's a huge thing to keep in mind that's on, on the actual all applications we can see the numbers of crashes and stuff that happens but for the most part there's no reason to go there unless you're uploading the, another application and it's so easy to miss it if you're like me have a whole bunch of applications already up in fact even if you have five it's super easy to miss that there was a crash at all and someone reported a crash because keep in mind, if a crash happens and you don't report it, we don't know. So it's, it's super easy to miss this stuff and it's super easy to not know about the thing. So again, 
go to the app page and email the developer whatever application you're using and let them know what's going on and that way they can fix it but anyways with that being said this has been craig bennett the founder of tech view snump and if you've got any questions on this or whatever then please leave that down there in the comment section and while you're down there leave a like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video and hope you have a great day